A lot has changed in the last year. This is an updated guide for signing up and using Open Goal. There are timestamps and links for all the sections in the description and the pinned comment. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video you may be totally new to the project, so we'll start with a very brief intro on what even is Open Goal. The original four Jack and Daxter games were created by Naughty Dog using their own programming language, Goal. So, as you can probably guess, Open Goal is a recreation of that programming language. But it is also a collection of tools to bring these games to modern platforms. Over the last three plus years, we've successfully done this with Jack 1, and with the release of this video, we're marking another milestone of releasing beta support of Jack 2, meaning there's still bugs and missing features, but it's playable. We are a team of essentially a half dozen active developers working in their free time, and we don't accept any financial donations of any kind, so things may take some time to get fixed. For hardware requirements, there's three main things. You need a GPU that supports OpenGL 4.3, or on a Mac, OpenGL 4.1. You need a CPU that supports AVX, and sufficient hard drive space. Jack 2 is substantially larger than Jack 1. Both the OpenGL and the AVX requirement should be satisfied by most hardware that's come out in the last decade. If you're on Windows, you're either going to need Windows 10 or 11. The launcher requires something called WebView 2, which comes with Edge, which should already be pre-installed. You'll also require the 64-bit C++ redistribution. If you're on Linux, then you should just need a modern distro. We use Ubuntu 20.04 right now, which is the oldest LTS. The launcher is an app image, so you need LibFuse 2. Some more recent versions of Linux aren't coming with LibFuse 2 anymore, like the most recent Ubuntu version. You can install it to work around this, which is something I'll show later. And another option is to use a Steam Deck. If you're using a Mac, it needs to be an Intel Mac. There is no support for Apple Silicon right now. And at the time of recording this video, you need to be at least using Big Sur. However, within a month, that is about to be end of life. And the big one. You need to provide your own legitimately obtained PS2 game ISO. We don't provide it for you. There's a number of ways that you can create this ISO from the original disc, which I'll link to, but showing it off is outside of the scope of this video. Here's how you get the launcher on Windows. First, you want to go to our website and download the installer. Then you want to run that installer. You might get a security prompt from Windows that you'll have to override. The path that you provide during installation is for the launcher, not the games or your saves or anything like that. Whereas the path you provide during the pop-up in the initial setup of the launcher, that is where the games are going to go. So if you're on a Linux desktop, it's super simple. Download the app image, not the Decky plugin. And then you're going to try and open this app image. If it doesn't work, it might be because you don't have LibFuse 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and open this app image with a terminal to see what the error is. And as expected, it's because of LibFuse 2, because I'm on the most recent Ubuntu. So all I have to do is install that with whatever my distro's package manager is. Try and open it again, and now it works. On a Mac, it's pretty much like installing any other program. You're going to download the DMG and open that up. And drag the launcher into your applications folder. Then we're going to try and open that up. If you get an error because it's from an unverified developer, then you're going to have to open your privacy and security settings and override that. And it should work just fine. So, installing the game with the launcher is the same in 
every environment. The launcher is going to ask you to set an installation folder. This is where the games go and where the open goal tools go. Because this is the first time we're opening the launcher, we have no tooling installed. So we're going to download the latest version. And this is used to build the game and run the game. So we're going to make sure to save this version now. And when we go back, now it's going to allow us to install the game. We provide our ISO. And it goes through the installation process, which can take a while depending on your hardware. And now when we try and launch the game, it works. So I'm just going to show off how installing Jack 2 is basically the exact same as the process for Jack 1. We're going to provide our ISO. In this case, it's going to be, of course, a Jack 2 ISO. And it's going to go through the normal process, which can take some time. Jack 2 is a little bit longer than Jack 1. Once the install finishes, you should be able to open Jack 2 perfectly fine. And I'll even show that I can switch back to the Jack 1 tab and launch that game still without any issue. If you encounter an issue during installation, or after it installs successfully, you see an error such as file cannot be found. The most common problem is that your antivirus thought that the program was a virus and quarantined or deleted it. Ideally, you could get the file restored through the antivirus, but if not, you can re-download it through the settings page. So one of the nice things about the launcher is it makes it really easy to update the game. When a new version of the tooling comes out, which is basically the game, uh, you'll get a prompt that you can click on to update. And once you switch to that version and you go back to the game page, it's going to tell you that basically your game was installed with the old version, you got to update it. So you go through the steps and the game should open up and it will be running that new version. This is also handy because you can do the opposite to roll back if there's a new bug. So if you're on a Steam Deck, we provide support for easily installing the game via a Decky Loader plugin. If you don't already have it, the first thing you're going to have to do is get Decky. Jack 2 support will be added in the coming weeks. You'll want to search for Decky and it should basically be the first result. And download the file that they provide. And while we're already in the desktop mode in a browser, we'll also download the Open Goal plugin. And you can find that on our website. We download that and that's just a zip file. Then you'll need to open the Decky installation. Just go through the prompts, enter what it asks, and pick the normal release option. Now we're going to exit desktop mode. Once we're back into the normal mode, we're going to open the sidebar and now you should have a new decky option. First thing you got to do is turn on developer mode under general. That's going to open a new option and that will let you install a plugin from a zip file. So we're going to find the one that we got. And this list is empty, and this seems like a decky bug. The way you solve this is restart your Steam Deck. Once you're back in, now we can open the new option, but as we can see, it says the ISO isn't found where it's expecting it to go. So it, it'll make the folders for us, but let's go put our ISO in that spot. So I already got my ISO onto my Steam Deck, and now I'm just going to cut and paste it into that folder. Note that the name and the path is important, so we're installing Jack1, so the ISO is called Jack1.iso. Now we can head back out of desktop mode and open the plugin, and it'll let us install the game. 
this can take a little bit of time. And now that it's installed, we are going to make a shortcut to make it easier to open the game up. And that requires one more restart. And then once it's restarted, you should have a nice Jack 1 shortcut. And opening the game shouldn't be a problem. So if you're ever asking for help, it's a good idea to download the support package from the launcher. This basically bundles up all your logs, settings, etc. and makes it really easy for us to help you. There are two ways to submit bug reports. The first is through our GitHub. So if you head there and you go to issues, new issue, then you can either pick Jack 1 or 2. And then there's a link saying have you searched for duplicate issues first. So this is just a courtesy check so that we don't have a bunch of people asking for the same thing to be fixed. You can only make an issue if you have a GitHub account, but you can still check to see if there's an existing issue without an account. If you go to issues and you pick either the Jack 1 or 2 label, and you can further refine your search to see has anybody reported a problem like that before. The other way to submit a bug report would be to open a help and questions thread in our Discord. So maybe you're looking for ways to contribute to the project. One way is through translations. We have a crowd-in page for both the launcher and for the games. Note that not all of the game text is up there. The remainder of it has to be done through GitHub PR. Also, if there's a language that you'd like to contribute that isn't already up there, you can reach out to us and we can try to add it. But note that we're severely limited by the game's font. So some languages are just not feasible to support. Another way to contribute is by making your own creations. Things are still somewhat undocumented and you'll be having to do a lot of the work yourself, but people have successfully made very simple mods and very complicated mods. And there's even some people that have made fully fledged new levels. And if you want to contribute code, we have many repos spanning everything from simple markdown documentation to complex decompilers and compilers to code editor tools. There's something for every style of programmer. If you have any questions or you run into any problems, the best place to ask for help is probably in our Discord. And with that, hopefully you enjoy the project and you have fun checking out Jack 2.